These are recipes that I've been reading about this week, and I am intrigued by all of them. I was very curious to hear what you all were intrigued about the most. Um, so you can vote on Facebook, and we'll talk about it throughout the show. Right now, though, we're going to talk about the pretzel company, and this is our neighbors right here in PA, and they are bringing us today the 15 count of the four and a half ounce hand-twisted soft-baked pretzels. If filet mignon could be a pretzel, it would be these. <laughs> I'm saying because these are super gourmand. And even if you're somebody like some of our hosts here at QVC who say, you know what, I'm not really a big pretzel fan. These are incredible. They are simple ingredients, beautifully made. And there's a gorgeous family story here too. Um, they are big and you're getting a lot of them. So free shipping and handling, three easy payments of $11.66. They're $2.33 a piece. Now, I want to introduce you to Philip Given. He's joining us live via Skype. He's at the bakery right now. Um, he co-founded it with his brother, and this is family run in downtown York, PA. Philip, it's good to see you. How's everything going? Mary, it's always great to see you. I was going to say that I need some caffeine desperately <laughs> after uh, all of that espresso talk. But then what was that? Was that the filet mignon of pretzels? I, I, love that I so called much. it the filet mignon of the pretzel world. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, look at, I know, you know, Skype is tough, but let me get in there. Look oh, how great. beautiful those pretzels are. And Mary, you hit the nail on the head. We are the filet mignon. <laughs> what makes our pretzels amazing is this beautiful brown, crispy exterior. I just heated this up. Obviously, I'm in the bakery. I just heated this up in the oven for a few minutes just to get it fresh for this airing. And it is hot on the outside and beautifully soft on the inside. I love these pretzels so much. I never get sick of them, even though I'm standing in the bakery <laughs> completely alone because we're not baking right now. We don't. And you know what? I know it sounds like we had a little bit of a glitch in our audio on our end, but you know what? We're going to show a video that shows the bakery and the actual method of them being made and some of the faces that work so hard to bring it to us. Because this, while it's not a simple yeah, method, um, the ingredients themselves, I mean, nothing needs to be refrigerated. Am I remembering that right? Yeah, we're going to reconnect his audio for a second. But here's the deal. There's no freezer in the bakery. How cool is that? Because you're, they're made with a little flour, a little water, a little salt, a little brown sugar, a little yeast, a little canola oil, and done. The beauty is in the method. These are hand twisted. We just got them back in stock. I mean, the fact that we can order them today and we can enjoy them leaning into the fall um, here's what all 15 looks like on a tray. So you can store them easily in your freezer and you can bake them all up. You can have them, you can, Philip, thank you so much. Sorry, we had to reset your audio there for a second. Um, oh, no. But we were, we were seeing now. the video of the bakery and there's there's no freezer in your facility, correct? No, no, just over camera left over here is, is the mixer that you saw in that video. We take flour, water, yeast, salt, brown sugar, canola oil, and turn them in to these pretzels. You know, when I was setting up this display, because you're getting 15, you're getting 15 of these pretzels, I couldn't even fit them on these display pans over here. So there's five on this tray, five on this tray, and you're getting another five. They come to you packaged right like this, oh, I love ready it. to take one bag. So you're gonna get three of these bags. My recommendation, save one bag for tonight, heat them in the air fryer, the toaster oven for five minutes. They're gonna be amazing. Take those other two bags, put them right in the freezer. They're good next week, the week after, up to three months in the freezer. But this deal is incredible. These are awesome size soft pretzels. And God, yeah, so delicious looking. Yeah, I mean, I want to get, I want to get two of them home, and I want to get a baking sheet with silicone on the bottom, and I want to yep. load up cheese and pepperoni, or maybe even veggies or sausage on it, and then put it into the oh. oven and bake up a pretzel pizza. Yeah, the, the, a pretzel Boom. pizza is a slam dunk, a home run. You could do a uh, crab pretzel, right? Take Ooh. some plump crab meat on top. Some cheddar cheese be absolutely delicious. If you just want to keep it simple, yeah. we include this instruction sheet in every single box. So the pretzels arrive unsalted. So when you get them, 
They look just like this, so no pretzel salt on them. And then you're just going to heat them up in the air fryer or your toaster oven or your conventional oven for five minutes until they are crispy on the outside and beautifully hot on the inside. You know, when they arrive, do they arrive ambient temperature or do they arrive frozen? What are they, what are they like? I love, I love that they're in the bag, but what do I need to do yep. when I get them home? Yeah, so you're going to get three of these bags. Okay. And remember, we have no freezer here. So <laughs> if, you're, if you're sitting at home right now, I'll tell you exactly how this is going to go. You're sitting at home right now. You're going to place an order today. We love that. These pretzels are going to be make, baked Monday or Tuesday, okay. and they're going to be shipped to your door that same day. So they're going to arrive ambient. They're going to be wow. fresh baked. You cannot get a fresh or soft pretzel. So pop them in the freezer. Good for three months. You can just take them right out of the freezer, toss them right in that air fryer toaster oven. They're good to go. Oh, my gosh. And wait a minute. You said, I've heard you say this before, because they don't show up with any salt on them, when we yep. get them home, whether we're making one or we're making the whole tray, we could go sweet or savory with it. Yep. Yeah. So you're going to get that bag of pretzel salt in every right. box that you order. And that's absolutely enough, a little bit more than enough to, to salt all of those pretzels. But you can take it a completely different direction. If you wanted to mix up some cinnamon and sugar, yes. toss these pretzels in cinnamon sugar, uh, a chocolate glaze would be amazing. If you want to stick savory, uh, we've got a dill mustard here that is absolutely yes. incredible. You can actually buy that dill mustard on QVC.com. Uh, so if you're looking for a good pairing as we sort of wrap up summer, Dill mustard and these pretzels would be my absolute thing. Could I do like a shallow fry and then do like a churro pretzel? No. Oh, yes. What? Can you pair it with one of those espressos from the previous uh, the previous hit there? An espresso, <laughs> some ice cream, a churro fried pretzel. I think we, we've got a night plan. This is why Philip and I can't live in the same neighborhood. It would. Yeah. <laughs> we would never leave of um, this. These are, oh gosh, there's fewer than 2,000 remaining. By the way, Philip is going to be with Chelsea in Gourmet Holiday later on today at yep. 4 o'clock Eastern time. So definitely get yours now and definitely tune in and see what other ideas they have coming up. Um, Philip, thank you so, so much. We'll see you with Chelsea in just a little while. Thanks, Mary. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now. I'm going to take my bucket of affogato, head this way because we're going to